Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And today we have more cartoon news for you guys. We have a brand new show that literally was just announced today, like just a couple hours ago, and it's called Monstrous from Gutsy Animation. Uh, I do like to give credit to the website whenever I take these articles. So this is on animationmagazine.com. And uh, Mercedes Milligan is the author of the article here. And again, you can see March 10th, this just came out like literally a couple hours ago. So I wanted to talk about it. I read through the article and is this a show that I would recommend? Uh, hell no. <laughs> this show is aimed at, so we can read this. This is, we can get like a little feel for it. So here's the first teaser image. This, we don't have a trailer. This is not a trailer watch video. Um, this is just taking a look at the concept images of what we're getting here. So exclusive first looked at gutsy animations, slimy new kids comedy monstrous. So it's a comedy aimed at kids. And we're going to see here Emmy, uh, Emmy award nominated studio gutsy animation is developing a new 2d animated series titled monstrous. And they're going to be getting 52 episodes, um, that are 11 minutes each. Whenever you guys see the brackets like this, that's what it means. 52 episodes by 11 minutes each aimed at kids aged seven to nine. So this is a mostly going to be, um, not necessarily a preschool show, but it's right. It's still that kids group. You know what I mean? Uh, preschool is usually like, actually, I guess you could say this is no, no, no. This is not preschool. This is not preschool. This is, um, young kids, preteens, preteens, um, and is looking for co-production partners. This laugh out loud comedy is about a group of tweens. There you go. Uh, trying to fit into a world where monsters and humans live side by side. And here we go. Here we go. The show celebrates difference and diversity and aims to prove that you can never judge a book by its cover. I'm going to judge a book by its cover immediately. Um, as soon as I, I read this first part of the article, I was like, okay, you know, there's a lot of the, the companies that are trying to do the whole diversity virtue signal thing. But um, it wasn't until I read the last thing here, uh, this one here, the last line, that I'm like, okay, this is now going to be, <laughs> this is one of those feminist shows, and maybe I should have been tipped off. It seems that the main character here has pink hair, which really, really should have tipped me off. But um, yeah, the heartbreak, sorry, the heartbeat of Monstrous. So this is the, um, the studio founder-in-chief. I just looked her up on Google. Uh, I was just doing some investigation here, but, uh, the heartbeat of monstrous is an appealing, empowered female character. There you go. So this is, uh, something you're going to want to be avoiding, uh, this show, as soon as they start using these buzzwords like diversity and female empowerment, I I'm surprised they didn't say feminist even, um, this is one of the shows that I, I really would recommend you stay away from. Uh, don't let your kids watch this one for sure. Uh, if, if I'm going to recommend a show about monsters, you really should go Google up monsters at work. I watched through the whole thing. This is by Disney, by the way. Um, we can see here monsters at work. This is a new, it's basically a sequel to monsters Inc. Uh, if you guys liked monsters Inc, if you liked monsters university, this takes place right after monsters Inc. And it's a continuation. We have this, uh, I can't remember his name, but it's like something Tuskman. Uh, they always called him like Mr. Tuskman, you know. Uh, I can't remember his exact name, but these are really good characters. I love this show. I want the show to get a second season. This is the kind of show you should be watching or letting your kids watch or watching it with them. When it comes to Monstrous over here, we have a pink haired character we have them talking about diversity and difference and never judging a book by its cover. No, no, no. Judge a book by its cover because we already know what this shit's going to be about. And uh, again, in its appear, um, the heartbeat of monstrous in its appealing, empowered female character, folks, <laughs> who embodies a powerful message of acceptance. You already know what this shit's going to be about. I don't have to read much more here. Uh, but given this and our own ethos at Gussy of tolerance and bravery, again, you already know what this is going to be. The pink hair should have tipped me off way earlier. And uh, let's finish up here. 
Uh, to stories that celebrate young women who make a difference. We're thrilled to be working on a show which celebrates the fun, life-affirming fantasy world. You're going to notice that the three main characters, there's no men to be found. Uh, maybe there's four main characters. Actually, this, uh, the pink blob here looks uh, also like a female too. Uh, we have the pink-haired character. We have the black uh, female character. And this character looks like some kind of mother or pilot or something. I don't know what's going on with this character. Maybe she's a nurse. I see a cross on her um, on, on her shoulder there. I don't know if you guys see it where my mouse is moving. Uh, maybe she's a nurse. But, uh, yeah, I, I honest to God, I'm not a fan of what's been, you know, just, just by seeing the concept art and just hearing the, what was it, the CEO, the founder in chief, just by hearing her talk about this show makes me not want to watch it. I'm going to outright go out of my way and say, do not watch this and do not let your kids watch this. It's just going to be more woke trash, more indoctrination. You already know what kind of show this is going to be. Uh, stay away from it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Um, please like, please share, please subscribe. Guys, by the way, thank you all for 700 subs. We finally made it there during the live stream a couple days ago on Tuesday. Um, and I got to say... If we get one sub, uh, one subscriber every day for the rest of the year, we're going to make a thousand before December. So guys, I couldn't be happier. The end. I'll see you later. And I'm going to keep making you guys videos. Peace out. Bye-bye.